sewer hole. Now the fish market here... It's late at night, so I feel like it shouldn't be open. Yeah, it's not open yet, so I guess we probably can't find that Henge Yokai. Fine. And then, if we want to go back to Glaze, we can check the map here, but I'm pretty sure it's that place with the padlock thingy. Or uh, the number lock. Glaze, 10? Yeah, look, 11. Kamikaze Zen? Well, everyone probably knows what Kamikaze is already. Divine Wind. So Kamikaze is not really anything. The next step in our quest to find Barabbas is going to Glaze to find Johnny. If the Tong are involved and the Tong also kidnapped Kiki, then I kind of wonder if these two events are linked. Barabbas disappearing and kidnapping Kiki and destabilizing Chinatown in general, I guess. We might want to be very careful here. Am I allowed to be here? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to the club like a normal person. Nobody allowed upstairs. Hmm, move. Nobody allowed upstairs. Move. Nobody allowed upstairs. Move. Nobody allowed upstairs. <laughs> Guess I'll find another way then. Yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. Johnny's upstairs and we gotta find a way up. This is so spacious. Maybe a little bit too spacious, because it kind of looks empty. A lot of people have those jackets on. That's gotta be the, the tong jacket. Oh yeah, we want to dance for a while too, because we want to get some humanity back. But we'll have a look around first. Yeah, DJ! What are you, what are you putting on? Mmm, the countertops are too white. It's too bright. Oh. Am I supposed to know you? Are you Johnny? Johnny's upstairs. Nobody sees Johnny unless I say so. I'm looking for Johnny. We've got business to discuss. You don't look like someone he need to talk to. <laughs> Fine, I'll just bring my merchandise to someone else. Johnny's in his office upstairs. You play with Johnny, and you're not getting out of here alive. Understand? That was fast. Uh, simply a social call. Keep your guns in your pants. I'm going upstairs. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, we might want to dance right now, because we don't know what's gonna happen upstairs. So I will. And also, is there anyone here who wants to let me have a drink of them? I can top off my blood a little bit. Oh my dear. Yeah. Look at the physics on that lady. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, the place is bigger, but there's less people here overall. Feels a little bit lonely. It's not as well decorated. You can see people walking around upstairs already. Is this lady trying to come on to me? Jeez, want? man, you're, you're getting a little bit in my personal space. Back off. I can see they made some effort in making this place look like a Chinatown nightclub, as opposed to, like, a nightclub in any yeah. other area. Because there's some, like, tapestries and stuff going on. <laughs> okay, five minutes. <sighs> Finally. At some point, everybody just stopped around me. Like right now. You guys, keep dancing, it's okay. Just, uh, I'm gonna washroom break. I'll be back. Maybe. Nobody allowed upstairs. The guy with the ponytail and glasses at the table gave me permission. Huh. Huh. That's what I thought. Oh, there's another door. Oh, that's right, because there's two doors into the nightclub, right? We saw two doors with a password. Which means, if we came in through the store, we could have bypassed them entirely. Why do you guys keep touching your crotch, by the way? Like, jeez, man. <laughs> I know you're not like some intellectual here, but that's like the only animation loop you guys have. So, what are you gonna do tonight? Johnny? Johnny Tong? 
Is Johnny's last name even Tong? Oh, look at this glass. He doesn't want people to know what's going on. That could be bad for me. Whoa, he seems... Who do you think you are, bitch? Huh? You know who I am? You know who you are? You wanna die? I thought he was, uh... He looked kinda droopy just now. I thought somebody took his blood. Whoa, take it easy. What the fuck do you want? Huh? Who are you? I'm looking for someone and I heard you could help me. Who told you that? How, how, how would you know about that? Who are you? Answer me! No, he's pretending to be a hotshot. He's getting a little bit nervous. Huh. Terrorist? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Don't tell it a thing, Johnny. Shoot it! You told me that guy was a nobody. Just what the hell did you get us involved in? Shoot it. You'll find out. You're dead, bitch! What the fuck? I shot you! You're dead! Who is that? That's exactly it, Johnny. It is dead. It's quite difficult to kill something that's already dead. And I assure you, it's not wearing a vest. The bullet entered cleanly through the lower abdomen. Somebody instructing Johnny to kill me. Somebody who knows I'm a vampire. Someone who knows that I'm trying to look for Barabbas. So Johnny did take Barabbas then. But who is that? Because he looks very like... I can't see him very well because it's so dark, but is he... Is he also a Nosferatu? Or is that just how he looks like? <laughs> Don't listen to him, Johnny. I'm wearing a vest. Normally, a bullet of that caliber would likely ricochet and tear up the small intestine. But as you can see, it exited cleanly through the back with little external bleeding. The reason being, its internal organs have atrophied. Little external bleeding? Excuse me. Who the hell is that on the TV? What the hell's going on? W what are you? Dispose of Johnny, and we'll discuss the matter of your missing comrade. Ah. Uh... Kill Johnny and the Mandarin will discuss Barabbas' whereabouts with you. Do I really have to kill Johnny though? Because I don't like that. They're making me kill somebody. Johnny kidnapped Barabbas, but if Johnny, you want to tell me where he is, I would be okay with that too. Even though, if we consider who we want to align ourselves with, that mysterious figure seems much more powerful than Johnny. But I've got principles. Tell me where I can find this man, Johnny. No, fuck you! Die already! Hey, stop right there. You really want to do this? I gave you a chance, buddy. I'm willing to give you another one. Oh, I, I let go too early. You had to kill him, didn't you? It's part of your code of survival, covering your tracks, so to speak. And before you attempt to deceive me, you should know I'm monitoring your heat signature. It's room temperature. He's like a blonde guy? The resolution of the TV is too low. He knows who I am. Doesn't sound like he's a vampire. Cause he's saying stuff like, Your code of survival, not our code. Who are you? I also must protect my true identity. You may refer to me as the Mandarin. You are searching for one of your kind, I understand. I have him at my facility. Come to the full syndicate building. We will discuss terms of release. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, Johnny. It didn't have to be like this. Oh, oh god. It was already like this when I got here. Let's go. And that's why I said it might be... Oh! Good thing I freaking danced before I got out of here, huh? <laughs> Bye everybody. Oh! Oh man, I thought I could make it out, but I I couldn't. Take two. Hey, no one's mad at me this time. How come? Oh, that was a fluke. 
Never mind. Fine, fine. Oh! Hey, why is that a criminal violation? What? I'm only defending myself, that's all. Oh! Dude, what gun are they using? Holy crap! Oh no! Whoa, I'm getting torn up here. I'm actually getting torn up. You know, even though in lore-wise, vampires are not supposed to be hurt by guns, clearly whatever they're using is really strong. Oh, what? This still isn't a... This is still a normal area. It's not a combat area. <gasps> You're joking me. Oh, that guy just hit the other guy in the back. Damn. I could probably book it out of here, but hey, why not? We'll use this as combat practice. Oh, what's the other weapon I wanted to try? The crossbow? <laughs> Reloading seems to take forever, though. That part kind of sucks. Yeah. Maybe if reloading didn't take so long, it would be more viable. But as it is, maybe not so much. Okay, you know what? We're out of here. Woo! Mr. Uh, Mr. Zhao told me to not cause a commotion. I didn't. I didn't. That was all them. That wasn't me. I'm not holding a crossbow. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to... <gasps> Officer, I heard a lot of gunshots inside the club. You might want to take a look. I think someone's probably picking a fight in there with somebody. Not very nice of them, is it? Oh. I'll scream. I'm hoping this is okay. Just a little bit of blood. A little bit. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. The guy said something about... Fu Syndicate? I don't think we've come across that building yet, right? I've seen it on the map before, though. Six. Six? Is that outside the Chinatown area? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Accidentally tried feeding on him. Mm hmm This is suddenly taking a very weird turn. We're learning that- Oh god, I killed Johnny. I killed Johnny. I had to, right? I didn't want to, but he wasn't gonna listen to me. Yeah, things are taking a sudden turn here. We went to Johnny because he's a Tong. But then as it turns out, it sounds like the Tongs were being ordered to kidnap Barabbas by another party. A new party. The Mandarin doesn't sound like a vampire. Not a Camarilla, not an Anarch. Is he with equations? This is a combat area. Restricted. We don't have the passwords. Huh. International conglomerate? So glad you finally decided to show up. If you want to meet your comrade, walk through those doors. No. Bring him out here, and then we'll talk. Subject will not enter the next area. This may be due to a theoretical sixth sense, or perhaps it is simply afraid. Are you stubborn by nature or instinct? Is this guy testing me? Earlier, he was being so rude. He called me it. 
He knows that I'm not human. He knows I'm a vampire. But it also kind of sounds like he doesn't know the exact nature of everything. Like maybe he doesn't know about Anarchs and Camarillas. Come out here. Show yourself. <laughs> Step through the doors. No. Subject refuses to move to the next chamber. I assure you, your comrade is still alive. If you want him released, you'll do as I say. This is a trap and we're walking right into it because we have no choice. He said that I might have a sixth sense because I don't want to go to the next room, which means the next room might be pretty bad. I'm coming for you. Oh, what do we walk ourselves into? Who is this guy? More importantly, why did he name himself after an orange? I am told you are a rather resourceful individual. This should make you a most intriguing specimen. You and your kind may play mortals for weaklings and fools, and that may be fitting for some. But you underestimate me. Subject is female. Appearance suggests early to late twenties. True age unknown. As with the other, there are no vital signs. Oh. No heartbeat, no body heat. Test chamber air sample is 97% carbon monoxide. Normal respiration cannot take place. Subject is by all definition clinically dead. Hello in there. I'm going to run some tests on you. I'm interested in how you work, but only because it's my task to find the most efficient way to kill your kind. Vampire <laughs> hunter? Give me everything you've got. Begin the experiment. Test chamber has been filled with ultraviolet light, releasing moderate UV radiation. Does that burn <gasps> all? No, I can't do sunlight. Subject exhibits no sign of pain or even physical discomfort. Shut down the lights. Conclusion. UV radiation does not produce the desired effect. Please, move on to the next chamber. If you cooperate, I will give you a dog for your good behavior. I find my subjects prefer dog blood over the rats I normally give them. Who is this guy? Some kind of a scientist? Uh, am I gonna die if I touch that? Your kind is resourceful. Your survival instinct borders on animalistic. I'm curious about your innate abilities. Let us see what you can do. The walls are reinforced concrete, several feet thick. There is no other exit. Believe me, it is my design. Somehow made it. Oh my god. Oh no, I've died to this before already. Back in the sewers. Only the most simple creatures can survive dismemberment. I am told. You can ah. regenerate parts of your body. I'd much like to observe this. I wonder, how many limbs can you lose before you cease to function? Wait, I can't open the door. What do you want me to... Ah! Oh no, but by doing this, I'm showing him whatever... Whatever he wants me to do. Ah! Because he's experimenting on me. I gotta get back out here. I can't. But I can't get out of here, because he just wants me to... I gotta do something. I don't see a way to do anything, though, because I'm pretty sure we can't even break these. That's it! That's it! Oh. You've shown great resilience so far. Let's see how you do against some live targets. Proceed to the next room. Ah, I was all caged up. I didn't even think to use a gun. Because I use melee so much. Sometimes, myths are constructed around legitimate observations. Let us find out if there's any truth in an old superstition. Initiate Van Helsing experiment. Does that hurt? I'd rather the experiment didn't end here. Please, don't disappoint me. 
Is he trying to see if a steak would hurt me? Or a cross? <laughs> Stuff like garlic? No, it doesn't hurt. More importantly, this guy's not even waving it at me. He's so scared. What do you want me to do, man? It doesn't do anything. What else do you want? Oh my god, this guy's getting so many vampire secrets out of us. Just by checking our vulnerabilities, what we're weak against, what we're not weak against. This is not good. A lot of secrets are getting out. Oh, don't tell me you want me to kill him. Van Helsing hypothesis tests false. You want me to kill him entirely? Sorry, buddy. It's nothing personal. Well, when God fails, put your faith in the gun. Proceed, Commander. The men are veteran mercenaries. The weapon modifications are... Again. We find incendiary. Promising. Suggest... I can't even... You're putting real people against me. What These people are gonna good? die, you know? I kinda don't wanna do any vampire skills in front of him, though. Cause it's like giving him more information on us. Even though technically, I'm pretty sure that doesn't really affect anything, but, you know. Still. Come on. Hey! Subject has terminated Belmont team. You are turning out to be a very useful guinea pig. But we have a conflict of interest. You continue to endure even though it's my instruction to incapacitate you. This calls for a more drastic approach. Continue to the next room. I'm very enthusiastic about this next test. And usually, if we think about people who want to kill vampires, the first people I would think of is vampire hunters. But those guys, we saw one of them, and he was really like religious and stuff, whereas this guy is more scientific. So it kind of makes me think they're not affiliated. But if not, then who are they with? Many regimes use oh. electricity to torture information out of their captives. It would be useful if this applies to your kind as well. Or will the voltage have results similar to fire? Let's find out. No more electricity, please. He's trying to test on us. What's our weaknesses? What are we good against? UV light? Electricity? No. Can we use a different gun? I don't want to use a good gun. Yup. You have demonstrated considerable mental and physical acumen. Whoa. And I'm quite perplexed how something that should be dead can display such strong survival skills. Let's begin the final test. Step into the next room. Oh, we can't do anything besides listen to everything he wants us to do. Stand by. Run a check on the extinguishers one more time. I've already determined fire is a weakness of your kind. I would like to know more about the psychological effect it has on you, and how it may be exploited. He wants to know how much pain I'm in when I get lit up? Whoa! Oh! I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Hold on. Ah, this is what happens when you design your experiments poorly, guys. Should've thought a little bit ahead. Come on, come on. No. We gotta use the pig ear. The damage for this gun is not bad, but it takes a while for it to reload.
Hmm, Ithaca? Is that better? Maybe I'll try that one out too. I have it as well. <gasps> Do they plan on dissecting me here? Could they have? They're humans, right? As far as we know. But we have seen that a group of humans against one vampire. That's very dangerous. And that's probably why Barabbas got caught by them. We gotta be careful. Oh! Oh, that's gotta be Barabbas in the back! Wait, do we wanna kill this guy? We didn't get any information from him yet. You have killed a mandarin. You must locate Barabbas and free him. Right here? Yeah, that's a Nosferatu, all right. Let me out! Wait! Get me out of here! I'm not one of them. They get you too. Now I've got no excuse. A Nosferatu getting caught by a bunch of humans. <sighs> this is a new low. Barabbas, I presume. Gary sent me to come get you. Let's get out of here. Wait, we can't go yet. There are servers here. We need to hack in and delete all of their research. Should be a mainframe on this floor. Leave it to me. Not a computer made I can't crack. Let's check the computers. Anything on Kindred needs to get wiped. Anyone interferes, you leave them to me. Grr. If I tore the lungs out of everyone in this place, it still wouldn't feel like revenge. Somehow it's kind of amusing that you're so angry right now, but you're wearing a cartoon graphic t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, let's go delete those files. Why don't we just go smash the computers? Forget about deleting files. Oh, that alarm is so annoying. Uh, hold on, hold on. What about back here? This side? What is this? Is that the sarcophagus? What is that? Global Wakazashi Engineering. Oh wait, there's multiple of these. What? It looks like some kind of a sarcophagus thing, but not the one that we picked up, right? Actually, I don't even know what it looks like. Certainly seems kind of ancient Egyptian-y. Do these people have the sarcophagus? Who are they with? Are they with Equation? Doesn't seem like there's anything back here, though. Hmm. Oh, hey, Rabbis. Let's go. Yes, sorry, man. Let's go, let's go. No, that's a bullet hole. I thought it was a button. Hey, stop right there. Hold it. Oh. oh, do you want to play? Yeah! A little bit for everyone. Ooh, syndicate office key. Damn! I didn't even see what you did to that guy. He just... He got smashed. Here we go. Who's syndicate security? Door control. Can we turn off the alarm? It's so annoying. Freedom. Open. Let's go. Oh my god. Come on. Barabbas, get the other guy. Okay, that works. That works. Dude, watch that guy at work. I don't gotta do anything. Was there anything else back here? What happened to that one experiment guy? He's completely gone. Huh. Well, whatever. Not my problem. No? What about... Blood buff.
Wow, we can even do 10 now. Lock picking 10. Bust in it. Harmful of swallowed. Hint book. Katana. Research the vision. Email. Eliminate. Elimination. <laughs> These passwords. Status. From Priestess. What is the current status of the project? A new subject was delivered to you last week. If I do not see results by the end of this month, you understand the consequences. Priestess? Like Ming Zhao? That sounds pretty fishy. This guy might be associated with the Guijin then. I mean the Mandarin? Yeah, because he wants to know how to kill vampires. Because he's with the Quajin, because Quajin aren't vampires. Regarding progress report. Article 2. The elimination of Wang Ho is imminent. Kiki, his daughter, will also be liquidated as per Article 2A. Liquidated? Ming Xiao! It's Ming Xiao! Wang Ho! That's the woman who kidnapped your daughter! What? Wait. That's it? How do we get out of here? Let's go. Well, the elevator doesn't go anywhere. What? Do we gotta go back the way we came from? Hold on. This one we've been in. Oh. I don't need this. Research and development. Species X data. Autopsy? Purge. Okay. Door code. Crane. Barabbas, come on, man. Yeah, we good? Thanks, man. Why on earth are we hacking the computers, man? We gotta just smash everything and go. Smash the hard drives and get out of here. Was that it? I think so. That was the last of them. Let's get out of here. You need to contact Gary right away. He needs to know you're okay. Will do. And thanks. My pleasure. Okay. No? Oh, okay, he just broke the door. Fine with me. Oh, I think Barabbas can do everything by himself. Look at that! Great double team. He's even stealing my guy. That actually wasn't the last of them then. These guys were. Let's go! <laughs> How's my kung fu? This whole time he's been kidnapped, he's been wearing that shirt. Oh my god. I was gonna say thank god that alarm is off, but we have another alarm now. Hello? Do you have Prince Albert in the cam? Well, better let him go, boss. <laughs> you done real well bringing our boy back home. I got your info, hero. Gary. That's right! He said he would find me when he needs me. I can't find him. Yes? The same information I gave your prince, I also traded to the Giovanni for a bit of... juicy gossip. You both had an equal opportunity to take it. They just had a bit more initiative. Giovanni of the Giovanni Mansion, I presume? Did they give you more money? I thought you were supposed to be on our side. Are the Giovannis even Camarilla? The Giovanni? If you're going to play Jihad, you need to do your homework. Knowledge is power, and power has a price. But seeing as how I've already got what I want from them, I'll give you a freebie. Tell me about the Giovanni. Oh, you're going to love this. They've got skeletons in their closet. Literally. <laughs> I should have played the cat skills. Incest, organized crime, death cults. That's the Giovanni. Spaghetti and corpses, boss. But are they human or what? Are they human? Are they vampire? Are they something else? 
tell me a secret about the Giovanni. The Incaran sarcophagus isn't the only occult item they're hoarding. Oh! I hear they've got a connection <laughs> to make Alistair Crowley come back from the dead. That is, assuming he isn't already sitting on a shelf somewhere over there. Wait, so you're telling me that he has... The Giovanni guy has the Ankaran sarcophagus? And that's the information that you... You just gave the prince. Tell me where to find the Giovanni. Oh, I'll tell you. And if you're foolish enough to go there, well, don't say I didn't warn you, boss. They have a mansion in the city. I'll draw you a map. They're having a reunion. Anyone who isn't a Giovanni shouldn't get within 50 yards. <laughs> So Gary's saying he didn't steal the sarcophagus then, because the whole time LaCroix was saying that the Nosferatu did it for sure. Or maybe Gary did it for the Giovanni? Because it does sound like they have a transactional relationship. Oh. Thanks. Looks like that's where I'm headed. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw this coming a million miles away? It seems so. <laughs> Let's be nice. I'll remember that. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. What even happened here? I feel like I need a little bit of time to process what happened in the past half hour or so. Suddenly we're talking about the Giovanni. Now is probably the time where we get the item for Pisha then. Sea Town Shootout. Body count rises as Vigilante cleans house at Glaze. Oops. That's totally not me. Gary has informed you that the sarcophagus is at the Giovanni Mansion. It's time to retrieve it. Italian dinner. These guys are Italians? From what Gary's telling me, they sound like maybe... Humans? But like, organized crime people. And we got Barabbas back, so that's nice. Probably a sign we should go back to the Nosferatu then soon. Does that mean that now we should go back to LaCroix then? He might be willing to talk to me. Yeah, this one updated. Yeah, we're moving on to a new place again. Giovanni Mansion. What happened though? What happened just here? Holy crap. Okay. We came to Chinatown because we were looking for a spy named Barabbas and we went all over the place. And at the end, we finally found him being held up at this building here, Fu Syndicate. Within this building, we were experimented on by the Mandarin, whose affiliations we're not really sure about, but it sounds like he's related to Ming Xiao. Very suspicious now, isn't she? Because we saw some implicating emails in there. Something about Kiki being kidnapped and the next step is ready. Very, very suspicious. I kind of want to go confront her about it, just to see what she has to say. Although, I don't know if she'll say anything. Hmm. 